One, two, three. Bye, everyone. Hello, world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the new Vlogmas. Today it's been a crazy, truly crazy day. I've been working from early in the morning non-stop. Uh, right now it's, let me see, 15.23 and I just stopped. I still did not answer the comments for today's video that was on, which was basically about um, some more hotels near the British Square, British area. The hotels that will be opening and will be closing down, which is half of them basically that are closing down. It's crazy. But yeah, I've been working nonstop. I've also been talking to my um, business partner about our company, just making some difficult decisions, but which is, which are very gratifying because you see that everything takes form. Everything slowly is getting there. We have our company name already. We are slowly but surely going towards the opening of our new business here in Benidorm area. So I'm very happy about it. Um, and I've just been doing that. I'll be having some lunch right now. I will make me some salmon, um, like grilled salmon, something like this probably. And then we will be opening our advent calendars. Uh, my daughter's one, mine with the tea. Hopefully today is going to be slightly more Christmassy, finally, because it's already, uh, not, it's already, what is it? 10th? 9th? 9th. <laughs> it's already 9th. Uh, I think so. I'm confused. Let me check it. For a second, I had some doubts, but yeah, today I'll be opening day 9th because for me, it's day 9. You'll be seeing it tomorrow, which will be day 10 for you guys. But yeah, we're opening the uh, bag number 9. So this is what we'll be doing. Maybe we'll go out somewhere. Not sure just yet. My daughter was not feeling very well. She did not go to school because she had some cough and some like... um uh like just a typical cold she does not have anything we have tests at home so it's all fine it's just a normal cold but since she has physical education these days and tennis lessons as well as school it was impossible for her to go because they take the jacket on they take everything off and are just with a shirt and it's very cold so i did not want her to go this is why she's staying at home and recovering slowly but surely but maybe we me and you will be going somewhere We'll see. Let's prepare the lunch first. So this is it. I need to check some bones. I can see some already in here. Some bones in here just to take them out because my husband won't eat with a bone. Jeez, that's complicated. Why it's so complicated to take them out? I don't get it. Okay, see. So I need to check if there are any bones in here because I know my husband won't eat it with bones. So I need to take them out as much as I can. And then I'll put some uh, spices on it. I'm just going to show it to you in a second. Which spices do I use for salmon in this case? All the rest, I think it's good. Oh, there is one here. That's a big one. Okay. Oh, that's it. So all the rest I think is okay. So what I be what well, I'll be putting for spices is I just love curry. It's my favorite spice ever. I also like like garam masala, different like Indian types of spices. But this one specifically. I'll be using four peppers in here, basil, and for my husband, I'll be using a different one, which is basically salt with cinnamon and lemon. Uh, my salt is right here, and I'll be using some lemon as well for our fish. So basically what I'll be doing is just separately. First, I'm going to be putting mine. A lot of curry. I told you I love curry. Black pepper. And now you condiment it very well. Everything that falls down, just pick it up with the side so it's okay. 
like this. Mm, looks yummy already. Then I put just a little bit more of basil, just a tiny bit. And obviously with the other hand, I'm going to be putting some salt just because I did not put any. So mine is ready. Next is going to be for my husband. For my husband, some basil. Some black pepper. And this salt, which is very nice. It's strange because it has some cinnamon, but I mean, it's very good for the fish, especially for salmon. So you put a little bit of salt in here and then on the side. And then what I usually do, this is ready. And I put some lemon. Well, first of all, I can put, I use two of these just to decorate my salmon. And then the rest goes as a juice on top. just to marinate it a little bit so that it will be smoother and lighter. All good, we're putting it on a pan. So this is our salmon, it's on the pan already. What I do is I just put two pieces of lemon at least while it's cooking from the skin side so that it would get this juice of lemon in here. I leave it like this for a few minutes, then I uh, fry it on every side then I take lemon out and I fry it on this side as well of spices last that's, this is the last thing that I do uh, and in a few minutes our salmon is ready so this is the finished salmon mine looks slightly more like toast just because mine has curry on top this one is slightly less but I like it very very like made cooked so this is a salmon I have some white rice in there let's have lunch so this is the lunch for today, just some salmon, rice, and a salad. And we are watching a movie about Arnold Schwarzenegger, how he was searching for a toy for his son from 1996. Amazing family type movie. Bag number nine today. Careful. Okay. What is it? Oh. What is it? Oh. These are coins! <laughs> Christmas coins! Yeah! I like it! But you like it? So while my daughter is painting just a little bit, she's doing some homework. They ask to read a book. This one here is The Champ, for example. And she's going to do the new book cover right now. There's Donnie right there. And I'm here with my advent calendar, anxious to see if it's going to be Christmassy or not, or herbal once again. So we have quite a few days opened already. Let's search for the day number nine. Nine. There you go. Day number. Ooh, that's a nice color. Let's see. Nature's berries bold and deep. A cup of purple fruit and dark delight. Ooh, something fruity. Let's see. Deliciously deep purple fruits to help you glow inside and out. Ooh, what is it? Black currant beauty. Oh my god, this should be so tasty. Let's go grab a cup of warm water and we'll try this tea right away so this is the tea so far very very nice smells smells very nice i've read it here that it has some rose hip hibiscus licorice sweet fennel orange peel beetroot i suppose that's why the color is coming uh black currant fruit natural black currant flavor orange essential oil flavor so we will see but as for now Looks nice, smells nice. I hope it just tastes the same good way as it smells.
So wait a second. So we will be tasting our tea. Aria wants to test it. Careful, it's hot. <gasps> is it great? It is. It is great. Yeah. It's great. Is it like super? It? It's very tasty. It tastes. It still tastes like some kind of herbs, but it does taste like blackcurrant. So it's great. It tastes like wild berries. So we'll be having a nice cup, warm cup of tea this evening to, with something sweet. Yeah, maybe some chocolate mm -hmm. or some pies, some biscuits, cookies, whatever we have. We'll take it right now with our tea. So it's later in the evening already. We are just finishing up here playing um, in our living room area. And shortly in a few minutes, we will head to bed already. At least my daughter will. This was our day today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I wish you a lovely, lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow in a new video. Ooh. Bye. Bye. Everyone. One, two, three. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.